Hey everybody, it's Phil Kern of the Tool and Die Guy, and uh, today we're going to learn about the evils of cold roll steel. I love cold roll steel, and why I love it is you can buy it in nominal sizes, like uh, half inch by four and a half. That's what this is. You can buy it in a lot of sizes that are finished, and they're usually about two thousandths undersized, but for a lot of things, it works out great. Well, I got really bit by this the other day, and one of the things I want to tell you, uh, you know, as you know about my site, when I make a mistake, I'm more than happy to share it because uh, that's how I think I've learned a lot in this trade is from my mistakes, okay? And I learned a lesson years and years ago in a design class about cold roll steel that I forgot because I learned it 20 years ago. The customer in this particular part wanted these two surfaces perpendicular within one thousandths of an inch. Okay, uh, so what I did is I set it up and I climb milled down this edge and climb milled here. Then I conventional milled right back and it was perfect. I checked it. Then I took this cut out, threw this out five thousandths, okay, out of square, even with a half inch radius in here. So the thing about cold roll that I forgot, it's got a skin on it because of the way it's cold rolled and it's very sensitive to being cut open. You can drill holes in this all day long and the holes will be fine. But as soon as you do what I just did here or take a slot, the next morning this plate's going to go either this way or this way. It's either going to close that slot in or open. It doesn't like having that skin removed and what I did is I cut into the skin. It's like peeling a banana, okay? So the whole thing exploded and the whole thing was kicked out. This side here was five thousandths out of square this way. On an exaggeration, okay? So just from cutting that out. So caution when using cold roll, and this is a good note to designers. If you're looking for 1,000 tolerances on shapes on the outside, forget it. And I told my manager after I finished 32 of these and reground this to get it perfect, they might be different tomorrow morning. This might just never settle down. So you've got to watch cold roll steel. The best part about cold roll is it comes, I can even feel this thing's rocking, okay? It's, it's, it's not even flat because it's got a lot of stress in it. But you can bolt it down, it'll always flatten out. But in an inert state, when you cut stuff out of cold roll, shapes, not holes, but shapes, it, you, when you take out of that skin that's on the surface, because of the way it's formed, cold rolled, it puts a lot of stress. And as soon as you relieve that stress, boing, 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 boing. sorry for the free sound effect there, but I forgot about that and I got bit by it the other day. So I told uh, our general manager to make sure that customer knows hot roll or something more stable next time because I had to redo all these pieces and take a skim off this. And I don't even know, uh, by, by the time the customer gets them, it's 32 degrees here in Erie, if they're even going to be right. Okay, because that's going to keep moving and moving and moving. I hope not, but uh, designers and tool makers, if you need something to stay stable, hot roll. Okay, that's why I, uh, when you guys want to build a grinder vise or one, two, three blocks, hot roll, then case harden it because it's, it's just a totally different process. Cold roll is really convenient because it's always rolled out to a very nominal size. But boy, as soon as you take a cut out of that and relieve that shell, it goes all over the place. So great lesson for you guys and me. God, I was kind of embarrassed. I forgot that when I learned in high school, but cold roll is not the best thing. Uh, if I hadn't taken this cut out and just drilled holes, this thing would have probably stayed the same. But as soon as I cut this shape out, even with that big radius in there, it just sprung. It just springs out when you remove material. So a good lesson for you guys. Uh, cold roll is like uh, when you're going to cut stuff out of it, plus or minus 5 at least, maybe plus or minus 10. Uh, but it'll always bolt down flat. You can bolt it down. It'll always bend back to where it needs to be. That's the nice part about it. But it, it's a nerd state. When you take a cut out of it, it goes crazy. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.